Hello and welcome back to Disney Marvels for the week of September 16th, 2018. This is episode 21. Disney Marvels, the podcast about Disney, Marvels, Lucas, ABC, the parks, and so much more. If it has to do with Disney, it's fair game. I'm your host, Matthew Graken. Now, on to the news. The Walt Disney Company Board of Directors on Thursday, September 19th, announced the election of a new director. Ambassador Michael Foreman, Vice Chairman and President of Strategic Growth at MasterCard. The election of Mr. Foreman to the board is effective immediately. We wish him luck in his new elected position. Dateline, Lake Buena Vista, Florida, September 17th, 2018. After nearly 20 years of delighting Epcot guests throughout, through music, fireworks, fire torches, and more, Illuminations, Reflection of Earth, will be ending in it the second half of 2019. The Disney Park Live Entertainment team is already busy creating new thrills to debut immediately following the conclusion of Illuminations, continuing the tradition of nightly entertainment on the World Showcase Lagoon. Illuminations Reflection of Earth, which is currently planned to run to the end of summer 2019, has entertained millions of guests since it debuted in October 1999. Whew, golly, that's a long time. As part of the Walt Disney World Millennium Celebration. During the coming years, guests will have plenty of time to experience the nighttime spectacular again and again as excitement builds for what is next. Epcot is undergoing a multi-year transformation with new experiences that will excite guests while keeping true to the original ver vision of the park. As part of the excitement, as part of the excitement, uh, exciting evolution, the all-new nighttime fireworks spectacular joins several several previously announced experiences coming to Epcot, including the highly anticipated and very large, I might add. Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster attraction in Future World, where uh, Universe of Energy once stood, a Ratatouille inspired attraction in the World Showcase, believe it or not, that's in Paris, the France Pavilion, a new table service restaurant adjacent to Mission Space in Future World, and much, much more. Into the cin cinematic world, the new Mary Poppins trailer is now out and about ready to see it shows some of the animation that will be included into the Mary Poppins film it is quite exciting please check that out also the first trailer for the Marvel Studios much anticipated Captain Marvel was uh, made its debut Wednesday morning on Good Morning America with a little help from Brie Larson herself who plays the title character she appeared live from the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum in Washington DC the film opens in the United States theaters on March 8th, 2019. Check out the trailer on our Facebook group or at the Twitter account. Now the rumors. Variety has reported that Disney is currently in the process of creating a few new Marvel series that will be premiering exclusively on their upcoming streaming service. The shows are being billed as limited series approximately six to eight episodes each and they'll center on some of marvel's fan favorites that we've already been introduced to as part of the marvel cinematic universe currently disney is looking to tackle loki and scarlet witch according to variety who was the first to report the news the studio is also looking to bring back the original actors tom hiddleston and elizabeth olsen back to reprise their roles for these series. Though Marvel and Disney have yet to comment on whether these rumors are true, it would make sense going further to bring them into or continuing their journey in the cinematic universe. Also kind of makes you wonder what's going to happen in part four of the Avengers. And now, on with the show.
It is the middle-ish of September, and that usually is synonymous with new seasons of your favorite shows and brand new TV shows. This week, I am going to take a look at Disney slash ABC's upcoming TV lineup and go over some of the new and returning shows and when we can expect to see them. So let's start with Mondays. Some people may wonder what's so great about Mondays. Well, on Mondays at 8 o'clock, Dancing with the Stars returns for se season 27th. So that starts September 24th. The 27th season will see stars such as Alexis Wren, Bobby Bones, Daniel Umstead, Demarcus Ware, the football player, Ivan Lynch, Joe Ambeline, John Schneider, Juan Pablo de Pace, Mary Lou Retton will be bouncing in, Milo Mayhem, Nancy McKeon, Nikki Glosser, and Tanish. And what will be, I'm sure, another fun and entertaining season. Those will be on Mondays and Tuesdays for a short run. Following that, we will see the much anticipated season two to last year's top new show, The Good Doctor Returns. The Freddie Highmore medical drama about the autistic resident doctor trying to prove his way in a major teaching hospital holds on to its 10 o'clock time slot where it uh, called home last season. On to Tuesdays, we have to wait for its fall lineup to premiere until October 16th. Until then, we, like I said, we have the round two of Dancing with the Stars, at least for a little while. So following Dancing with the Stars, and this is again until October 16th, that will be followed by 2020. But come October 16th, October 16th, we'll start off with the Roseanne Show spinoff, The Connors, at 8 o'clock. Supposedly, there's not too much information I can find out there yet, but supposedly this show picks up after Roseanne's character has a sudden death. And the family moves on from her and deals with the circumstances of now dealing with how it's matriarch. So we shall see what that's all about. Same cast, same producers, everything pretty much the same, just no Roseanne Barr. So, again, we shall see. At the 8.30 slot on Tuesdays, we have The Kids Are Alright. Now, this is a new show that is set in the 1970s. This ensemble comedy follows a traditional Irish Catholic family, the Clarys as they navigate big and small changes during one of America's most uh, turbulent decades, uh, could be, in a working class neighborhood outside Los Angeles, Mike and Peggy raise eight boisterous boys who live out their days with little supervision. The household turn upside down when the oldest son, Lo uh, Lawrence, returns home and announces he's quitting the seminary and going off to, quote unquote, save the world. Times are changing and the family will never be the same. There are 10 people, three bedrooms, one bathroom, and everyone in it for themselves. The series is inspired by the childhood of the writer slash executive producer, Tim Doyle. And uh, let's see how that goes. 10 people, one bathroom. Oh my goodness. After that, I have the 9 o'clock return of Blackish for its fifth season. 9.30, the mid-season replacement, Splitting Up Together, returns for a second potentially full season. And 10 o'clock, one of my most anticipated shows, Nathan Fillion's The Rookie will premiere. The Rookie start <coughs> is uh, labeled as starting over isn't easy especially for a small town guy, John Nolan, who after a life altering incident is pursuing his dreams of being an LAPD officer. As the force's oldest rookie, he, uh, in the oldest they mean in the 40s, in his approximate 40s, he's met with some skepticism from some higher ups who see him as just a walking midlife crisis. 
Goodness, I wonder what that, that what that's like. If he can't keep up with the young cops and the criminals, he'll be risking lives, including his own. So we shall see how that pans out. I'm actually really looking for that. I'm a big fan of Nathan Fillion and his work. Loved him on Castle. Loved him in Firefly. So, loved him in Cars 3. He was even in Cars 3. He's now appearing everywhere. So what do we have now on Wednesdays? Wednesdays do return to us on September 25th. So, Tuesdays are, are going to be the off ones, but Wednesday starts on September 25th. So at 8 o'clock, we have the six seasons of The Goldberg kicking off, followed at 8.30 by Season 3 of the American Housewife. 9 o'clock, Modern Family begins its 10th season, and from my understanding, they're already trying to prepare for an 11th season. That show is not going anywhere because it's still riding all of its success. 9, 9.30, the comedy Single Parents debut. Now this one is again another ensemble comedy following a group of single parents as they lean on each other to help raise their seven-year-old kids, wow fortunate they're all seven, and maintain some kind of personal life outside of parenthood. What is that about? I am not a single parent and I still don't know what a personal life outside of uh, kids is. But anyway, back to the series. The series begins when a group meets, uh, meets Will, a 30-something guy who's been so focused on raising his daughter that he's lost sight of who he is as a man. Let's see, when the other single parents uh, see just how far down the rabbit hole of PTA, parenting in princesses, uh, Will has gone, they band together to give him, get him out into the dating world and make him realize that uh, being a great parent doesn't mean sacrificing everything about your own identity. Hmm. Interesting. So, that is Single Parents on Wednesday. Uh, let's see here. 10 o'clock. There we go. 10 o'clock, another new show drops. The drama, A Million Little Things. So, this is the one that... I'm sure if you've been watching you kind of get a vibe of um, This Is Us from it, which is kind of going to be funny because Disney not, will be owning This Is Us just shortly once everything clears out. But this one actually stars Ron Livingston. Um, and let's see here. The tagline on this one is, the, or the official write-up on this one is, they say friendships isn't one big thing, it's a million little things. And that's true for a group of friends from Boston who bonded under unexpected circumstances. Some have achieved success, others are struggling in the, their careers and relationships. But all of them feel stuck in their lives. After one of them dies unexpectedly, it is just the wake-up call the others need to finally start living. Along the way, they discover that friends may be one of the things that save themselves or saving themselves. So that should be... I wonder how that one's going to catch on. Um, I, I think that one has a lot of potential, and I, I enjoy Ron Livingston myself. Thursdays. Thursdays is actually going to split into two different weeks for its premieres. The sub September 27th premieres will start off with the two-hour premiere of Grey's Anatomy's 15th season. My goodness, 15 seasons already. Whew. So that's going to be two hours. So followed at 10 o'clock, we'll have this fifth season of the um, How to Get Away with Murder. But moving ahead a week on October 4th, in to split those two up, the following week, the latest Grey's Anatomy spinoff will start airing. Uh, Station 19, that's the fire department one that's based on Grey's Anatomy. Um, so that will be returning for a full season two um, after its much abbreviated season one. TJIF is coming back on October 5th. Let's see, starting at 8 o'clock, we'll have the fifth season of Fresh Off the Boat moving from Tuesdays now on to Fridays. 8.30, we'll have Speechless. That will see, uh, the season opens. 
9 o'clock, the mid-season replacement, Child Support, is back for Season 2. And then the 10 o'clock hour will remain to be 2020. It'll be keeping its home. Saturday nights currently is dedicated to college football for now. And Sundays, October 7th at 8 o'clock, we'll have Dancing with the Stars Jr. This incarnation of Dancing will have child stars Ardeon Celestine, Brighton uh, Berms, Elena Wimsley, Haley Bills, Jack Morrell, JT Church, Cameron Couch, uh, Kamari Peterson, Lev Kelmar, Rayleigh Arnold, Sage Rosen, and Tristine Ivanro. I apologize on that last one. Um, so that's where that one goes. So we shall see what that one's all about because this is that one they're switching it up a little bit. It'll be stars. It'll be the ch children stars with mentors. I believe these kids actually are all uh, already in professional ballroom dancing. So little twist on the Dancing with the Stars and a new set of judges and different hosts as well. 10 o'clock will bring back Shark Tank. Shark Tank is moving from Fridays to Sundays now. Um, but like the Thursdays, Sunday's premieres will be split into two weeks. On Sunday, October 14th, Shark Tank moves to its permanent home of 9 o'clock. And at 10 o'clock welcomes the new Alec Baldwin Show, a weekly talk show hosted by none other, believe it or not, Alec Baldwin. So that's kind of that's the lineup on ABC. Now, keep in mind, all of these shows are not produced by Disney, and ABC Disney, their arm does reach into other networks. I'm not going to go into that. I'm just going to I'm just strictly sticking with the ABC lineups. I told you, for me, Rookie. That's kind of where my that's that's my go-to. Um, that's what I'm looking forward to as much. Um, the Good Doctor, that's another one that my wife and I um, very much enjoy. Uh, you know, Freddy does a spectacular job. Um, actually, he's been recognized by some autistic groups for his portrayal of a autistic individual, a gentleman in this case, and the struggles that he has to go through. Um, and not just the struggles. The struggles and the stigmatism that people place on him um, and just the doubt that they give him, you know, saying, well, why are you doing this? You can't do this. And yes, he can. And he, he does prove him wrong, but it, you get the struggles that he has to go through. Uh, beautifully written, beautifully produced, and um, I, I'm happy to see that one come back. As for the rest of the shows, hey, just because I'm not watching them doesn't mean you're not. I may be watching them. We'll have to see what's going on. But the, a lot of good stuff out there. A lot of great shows returning. Um, the new shows, we shall see what they're all about. You know, they have a lot of potential, but this is why they also have mid-season replacements, just in case if they don't work out. What show or shows are you looking forward to? Which are some of your favorites that are coming back? Are there some new ones, like The Rookie, that you are extremely excited about and can't wait for it to premiere? Let us know. Put it on the Facebook group, facebook.com slash Disney Marvel's podcast. Once again, the Facebook group is facebook.com slash Disney Marvel's podcast. Or tweet it out on the Twitter. Connect us with us on Twitter. Put it at Disney Marvel's. Again, the Twitter account is at Disney Marvel's. You can also email the show disneymarvels at gmail.com you know discussing what shows you like there if you don't want to shout on the the social networks or if you have any ideas for shows let me know there too as well thank you very much for using your valuable time to listen to the show i know how limited your time is and how precious it is and i really appreciate it um spending some of your time that like I said, is very limited in spending it with me as I ramble on about all the Disney, different Disney stuff. 
uh, means a lot to me, and I, I am very happy to bring this show to you. Just remember to always believe in yourself. Whatever greatness that you want to accomplish is already within you. You just have to take that first step and move forward. Please be sure to share this show with your friends and family. Um, as we are all one part of one big Disney family. And let us all gather together around more Disney stuff. The more, more Disney in our lives, I think, honestly, the better the world would be. Also, please take two minutes, just two more minutes of your day. Go into iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, or wherever you're listening to this podcast and rate and review the show. And while you're there, just take that extra second and click on the subscribe button to the show so that way you never miss an episode. And this week, I would like to end with a quote from Walt Disney, of course. This one in particular about television. And the quote being, Instead of considering TV as a rival, when I saw it, I said, I can use that. I want to be part of it. So just be remember, just because something new and it looks like you work against you, doesn't mean that's always the case. So thank you again. Have a wonderful week, everyone. And I'll see you next time.